This segment sponsored by Hope Health Systems. Discussing mental health with a loved one can be a challenge no matter what age they are. Hope Health Systems, Inc. has been providing direct services and community support for more than 15 years here in Maryland. From children to adults, mental health to substance abuse, Hope Health System is focused on family and balance. Joining us today is Dr. Jonathan Shepard to tell us more. Welcome. Hey, doctor. Yes. Thank All you for right. joining us. I mean, this Good issue, I just feel like every time that you turn on the TV, there's some type of, you know, violence that's occurring in schools. How do we even talk to our children about this conversation? Yeah, you know, the recent events have just really traumatized so many of us. Uh, and I'm almost to the point to where I'm a little bit scared because it's almost desensitizing us because we're yeah. hearing about reports after reports and children are literally gripped with fear. Uh, mm -hmm. afraid to go uh, to school, afraid to leave their houses. Um, and, you know, even parents are even afraid to send their children to school because of the recent events that have occurred. So one of the things that you have to do, you have to speak to your children, reassure them, um, continue to engage them. Uh, something, else, something else that's important is to find out what have they heard mm -hmm. because of so much uh, that's out there on the media, social media. And so many of the children, they get those alerts on their phones and they're able to read and see what's going on. So you want to find out what do they know. And that's very important. So having it that is, open sure. flow of conversation mm -hmm. and communication. For yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah, and you mentioned children are so young and they're hearing about all this. I read a story of a little girl, she was probably six, seven, eight, scared that her Skechers light up shoes would be seen, would wow. there be a shooting wow. if she were hiding. Wow. And so of course that creates a lot of tension within those child's minds right. and as a result of seeing some of these things happen, some children are developing PTSD. What are some of the symptoms that we can look for in PTSD? Yeah, so one of the things that you, again, the, the, the fear, the anxiety, uh, with children who are like under the age of five, they might go back to do some things that they uh, were doing previously, like thumb sucking, mm -hmm. wetting the bed, um, and then some of the older children, they might even start to look uh, or seek out substances, um, like alcohol, drugs, things like that. Uh, they'll be afraid to go and do things that they normally would do. Um, so th those are some of the uh, signs and symptoms to look for. Mm -hmm. If people start functioning inappropriately, that's when you need to be aware and start to seek out help. Gotcha. Yeah, and there's such a stigma when it comes to mental health illness and mm -hmm. just, you know, bringing that open flow of communication. How can people seek help without feeling like they're going to be judged? Yeah. Um, Again, you know, segments like this, you know, talking about it, open communication uh, can help relieve some of the stigma. Uh, one of the things that people have to understand is that we all encounter stress. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, it's just a part of, of life and we're all going to have distress. And so we want to make sure that we have those lines of communication that are open. Uh, we have places like Hope Health Systems, other counseling centers. Um, you know, if you see a family member, and I've mentioned this before, um, that if you've seen a family member who is having some trouble, say something, you know, say, hey, how can I be a support to you? How can we bring you to, uh, in so that we can make sure that you're getting the help that you need? Right, so there are a lot of untrue statements floating around in the world about mental health treatment. What are some of those common myths? Um, you know, if you seek treatment that you're crazy, right. um, you know, and, and I hate using that word crazy, but you know, people say, well, I'm not crazy, but uh, uh, you know, so if you go to seek mental health, they'll say that I'm crazy. Um, even with using um, uh, their own insurance, their employee insurance, some people are afraid to seek mental health treatment because they're afraid that somehow it's going to get back to their employer, that somehow that something's wrong with them or that they're inadequate. Uh, I think some people really feel that if I have a mental distress or a mental disorder, yeah. somehow I'm deficient, mm -hmm. I'm not sufficient enough. And so we want to encourage people that that's not the case. Just like mm -hmm. any other organ in your body gets ill, uh, your brain can become ill and that's when mental illness will occur. Um, and then, you know, on the religious side, some people might say that you're demonic or, or demon possessed or something like that. So we want to let people know that that's not the case. It's just something where uh, you need help. And mm -hmm. if you need help, let's seek uh, uh, treatment for that help. Yeah, and Absolutely. speaking of help, Hope Health Systems has a wonderful array of programs and treatments, right? Yes, uh, for sure. So we have medication management, we have individual uh, therapy, family therapy, group therapy. Uh, we even have something that's called case management or care coordination. And that's where we provide certain services for families uh, who are uh, uh, experiencing different things in their time of need, uh, even where they might need help with their light bill, gas bill. Uh, because when you're suffering during these different disorders and trying to help, certain things may go lacking. And so that's where care coordination steps in. 
We even have mobile treatment services for those persons who are a little bit more acutely at risk of going into the hospital. So we're, we'll provide services going to the home to make sure that that person is receiving the services that they need. That's fantastic. And of course, you're going to be at the Be More Healthy Expo. What okay. resources can we find there? So there we're going to be doing some uh, mental health screenings. Uh, we'll have some of our clinicians. Uh, I'll be there for the first couple of hours just to hey. talk with people and, to, you know, say hello and just to invite them to come on through. Again, I want to normalize it, you know, allow people to know that if you're in need, come by, you know, stop by. You just never know what might happen in life that might cause you to need those type of services. Thank Absolutely. you so much for joining us. Thank oh, you so much. You're Very important. Such Glad a great conversation.